Similarly, many times people say things to us. People spread rumor about us. Every one of us, without exception. Someone somewhere behind your back or even sometimes in your presence, they will say things that are not accurate about you. They will say things that are hurtful. They will lie about you. They will say things behind your back that are absolutely derogatory, that are unacceptable. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Many of us, we face that people spread rumors about us and people do gossip behind our back. And it's really hurtful sometimes and we become upset and we become offended. Many prophets went through it. Even our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went through it. Have patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you. What does Allah say about that? You have to go back to the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was known as Afdalul Khalqi wa Akramul Rusuli, the best of creation, the most noble of all prophets. And people said that he was a womanizer. They said he was after money. They said he was after power. They said he was just after the authority he wanted and he was a greedy. A'udhu Billah. May Allah safeguard us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَاصْبِرْ عَلَى مَا يَقُولُونَ وَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكْ قَبْلَ طُلُوعِ الشَّمْسِ وَقَبْلَ غُرُوبِهَا Verse number 39 of Surah Qaf. Allah says, Be patient regarding what they are saying. They will continue saying things. Be patient. Don't get upset. And if you want to help yourself, then... You need to declare the praise of Allah constantly. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, glory be to Allah. I glorify you, O oh my maker. I declare your praise, O oh my maker. You are the greatest, O oh my maker, etc. And it will help you to overcome rumors that are being spread about you behind your back. Don't turn towards them. Don't incline towards them. You need to bear patience. You need to seek Allah's help. But this verse shows us that people will talk about you, especially when you're a good person. They may say things. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the best. They said the worst things about him. But they were just a handful. What happened at the end? At the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna kafayna kal Oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have safeguarded you. We have sufficed you against those who would like to mock you. They won't be able to harm your reputation. The people can do what they want. They can say what they want. Your reputation is intact. Because you praised Allah, you were patient. You fulfilled what Allah wanted. Same applies to us. Obviously on a totally different level. But if you are patient, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you the best of this world and the next. He will protect you. Your name will be purified for you by the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If not in this world, then in the next. So my brothers and sisters, let's not become upset and depressed when someone spreads rumors and lie about us. Let's do sabr. Let's praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And finally, Allah will purify our name and Allah will make us respectable, reputable.